Hi, I'm John Rance. Once again, I am a senior at Creighton Prep. Date, 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 date. And this poem is called The Hunt. The beast is a brown twitch of muscle against a black-green backdrop. I see it, already crucified in the perpendicular lines of my scope, patiently waiting for my trigger finger to pull white-hot nails across the distance between our bodies. A hand descends to my shoulder, carrying the weight of many palms before it, and my father says, you don't have to kill it in one shot. A slow bleed is enough for us to chase it down. The pain in its eyes will be a reaction, like not a thought, like flinching away from a fist instinct. I can feel it under my two big boots. My feet clench at a memory of tireless pursuit, watching greater prey than this run themselves to death. I have to wonder if we can accomplish our goals in any other way, if everything is a chase, an ancestral recollection of the hunt played out across stages, both sophisticated and savage, before guns, before bows, before weapons were any more than a sharpened stick. The greatest advantage available to human hunters was their incredible stamina. The kill was not a brutal moment of violence, but a process, wounding and following great animals at a safe distance until the monsters could walk no more than moving in to finish off the pile of shuddering muscles. Does my father also suspect that we are the most modern repetitions of a brutal cycle? I will not speak up to subvert our roles, but the possibility eats at me. What if I am playing my part wrong? Is there something in my very being about to throw tradition off course and bring the expectations of centuries crashing down on my skinny shoulders? The rifle rattles in my hands. I forget how deadly what I'm holding is. I think how ridiculous it is to be cradling a stick. I am two seconds from throwing it to the ground and running down the deer, teeth out, nails bared, screaming something between frustration and fear when my father says, son, this is the easy part. 100 generations worked hard to make taking life as easy as twitching your finger. His voice steadies me. I breathe and stare down the scope's tunnel. Below, the animal's head shoots skyward, as if it can hear how much I do not want to kill it, how unnecessary this is, how advanced I am, yet how easy it is to be drawn back into the primal because so many have become predators before me. What are you waiting for? My father whispers, and his voice is an echo of thousands gone before it. We lock eyes through the lens. I squeeze, imagine grabbing a handful of the warm pelt instead of pressing back a cold metal finger. Mistake the sound in violence for an earthquake, which it isn't, even if some worlds are breaking. My deer crumbles instantly at the end of the trajectory. My father whistles, good shot, son. The pride in his voice is clear. I wonder what else is pleased, what other hungers passed down through history are satisfied by my hand.